welcome to the first episode of Yugi Info. The idea of this series will be to let you know what's new. Simple as that. Uh, right now, I'm going to do the, the Jin Storm segment, basically. These are the new Exceed monsters that came out. There are the Dijin series. Yeah. Mellow Melody, the Brass Dijin. You got Ten Tempo, the Drum Dijin. You got the Muso Rhythm, Muso Rhythm, the String Dijin. Or Puss in Boots. You got the Maestro, the Symphony Dijin. And you have the Queen Dragoon, the Dragon Dijin. Alright, let's start off with Mellow Melody. Well, the first thing I thought of off the bat when I thought of this is like, well, one, it's a pretty good rank three. Double attacker mainly because you'll use the effect to detach on itself. So it's a 1400 double attacker. But that noise is also a light type. So it's like, ah, so it's similar to BLS in a way where you can attack with this, drop on it, deal 1400 points of damage, and then attack again with the extra power boost. For example, if you attack a monster with 3000 attack, now the second attack will be 4400 points of damage. And that's a good amount of damage <laughs> in one single turn. So you dealt 44 plus the 1400, that's 58. You know, that's, that's not bad. Your opponent's left with what 2200 points of damage, uh, 2200 life points left. So that's almost game right there from one single combo. And this is easy to make because you can make it with Tour Guide, uh, Marauding Captains, Helosaurus combos. You, you know, it's a rank three. So you know how to make rank threes. Here's a light rank three you could drop on us on and deal a massive damage. Hopefully, your opponent ain't stupid enough to have a monster, you know, that's too strong. Because then they just allowed you to kill them. So this might get on its ban. <laughs> if it's not going to get banned already, this might get it banned. But uh, moving on. You got 10 Tempo with the Drum Dijin. I will call it 10 10. So you got rank 10 10 up in here. Not a rank 3. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach a material to target one XYZ monster your opponent controls. And detach materials from it. Uh, one material. So one for one, basically. Uh, what I like about it is that it's a once per turn to either player's turn. So once you summon it, you can use it, get rid of one of the one of Zen main's materials, and then your opponent, then end your turn. Now it's your opponent's turn. Then you detach again and take away one of your opponent's, uh, uh, one of Zen main's material, and now Zen main has some material. You could do the same thing to Utopia, detach material during your turn, then another one during his turn, so then Utopia has one turn. So it's a good way of of declawing uh, XYZ monsters that your opponent controls. So basically this is in the XYZ color. And it's an Earth type, so you can figure out some tricks with that. It's Fiend, so and it's 1700, so it's not bad. And the fact that it could become a 2700 if you when you get its effect done to if you do this effect twice, it's not bad. So that right there is pretty impressive. Moving on. Puss in Boots. <laughs> it's a wind type, so you can do stuff with that. During the damage step, when a Dijin XYZ monster you control is attacking an opponent's monster, you can attach a material from this card. The attacking monster's attack is doubled until the end phase. The fact of him can only be used once per turn. So that's pretty impressive because that right there alone, that's a that's a rank three three thousand pretty much at any given time. Uh, and since it says during the damage step, is attacking opponent's monster. All right, so it's only during your turn, so you can't do it during opponent's turn. But it's still good. You summon him, you attack, boom. I prefer acid golem, but there's people out there that like the ability to special summon, so they would rather play this. Moving on. 
Maestro the Symphony de Jin. It's a rank four, unlike the other ones, which are rank threes. It's an 1800 Dark Fiend, so you can play with that. Uh, once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card to target one face-up attack position monster your opponent controls and changes the face-up defense position. If a face-up vision XYZ monster you control would be destroyed, you can detach one XYZ material from this card instead. So, what's pretty good is that it's a vision, so you can detach a material just to save its ass. So that's pretty good. As well as, you know, you can detach material from any other one. So this pretty much almost gives the ability to all your mon vision monsters be protected. So whenever they would be destroyed, you can just detach material from them so they won't be destroyed. So... This is a good monster because it could protect itself. Oh, it's a 2300 defender, so you can just summon it in defense mode and it, it will stay on the field a little while since you can protect it and then it has the ability to protect your other Dijin. So if you do a Dijin deck, hey, this will be a really interesting deck. I might do a deck profile later of this using these monsters. Um, but the once, once per turn detached material. From this card to target one face of the monster, opponent controls and chase the face on the defense position. Ain't bad if you're using a, a jar deck, like empty jar. Give your opponent like morphin jar number one, and then use this effect to put it face down after you book it tie with it. And you know, it it keeps the keeps the combo going. <laughs> so this ain't bad. Queen Dragoon, the Dragon de Gen. She is maxi and very awesome, very awesome in effect. If she makes it with dragon type monsters you control, cannot be destroyed by battle, so that's awesome. So, you do something like gold armor or bring a magnetism to one of your other dragons, and it'll make it where you can't attack her. You can only attack the other dragons, but, you know. They can't die, so this this pretty much is a dragon lock right there. Uh, especially if the other mon the other dragon you're using has a special ability, like decoy dragon or something. That's a lot of spam right there. Um, once per turn, you can detach a XYZ material from this card, then target one level five or higher. Dragon type monster from your graveyard, especially summon that target and its effects negated and cannot attack during this turn. Alright, now it gives the impression that its effects are negated and cannot attack this turn. So it's possible that when the turn is over, you get the effects again. So if the monster, so the dragon type does have an effect, you can use it next turn. That's the impression I get. Uh, we'll find out more information about that later. But the ability to bring back a dragon. From the graveyard back onto the field, level five or higher, is a really good effect, especially when the dragon you bring back can't be can't be destroyed as a battle. So that's really really good. And that is it. Bye.